Jesus, bitch. So, as some of you may know, I used to make what the internet makes fun of, uh, those things called Fortnite videos. Yeah, those. And uh, I subscribed to quite a few creators back then, but nowadays I only watch one, and his name is Rody Bros. And he also happens to watch my videos, which is pretty fucking fire. So I was searching the uh, the interwebs for some information. I came across one of his uh, Virgin Simulator settings videos, and I heard this. Hello, you can overclock PS4 controllers as well. And the reason that Xbox controllers suck is that they're hardware capped and they can't be overclocked. So that's the reason that Xbox controllers are terrible on PC. You're going to have terrible input delay and there's nothing you can do about it. So this was the first time I had heard that and remembered it. I had heard that somewhere before, but I had completely forgotten about it and didn't look into it, even though I probably should have. But uh, I never looked into overclocking or anything like that because I never thought it made that much of a difference if it did work. And as it turns out, since I was using Xbox controllers, um, yeah, overclocking wouldn't have done shit. After doing some thorough testing, I've found that Xbox controllers are generally locked to two polling rates. This therefore dictates how fast they can respond. Your stock controllers and some of the custom pro controllers that I've tested are locked to a 125 hertz polling rate, which means you have an eight millisecond response time maximum. Or minimum? Is that how that works? I, I, I don't care. Some controllers, like uh, I'll, I'll, I'll spoil a little bit of my comparison video, the Power A Fusion Pro 2 and the Power A Spectra, as well as both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controllers stock, all respond at 250 hertz, which gives you a four millisecond response time. The only difference is, is that PlayStation controllers can be overclocked to 1000 hertz. This means that PlayStation controllers can respond at one millisecond. Xbox controllers get no effect from overclocking, the polling rate is locked. This rule applies to all the Xbox Pro controllers I've tested so far, aside from one that sits on this table, and I haven't reviewed it yet, and I, I very badly need to. You guys will not stop fucking asking me about it. And I got one. It is broken, I will, I will, I will spoil that for you. I didn't break it, it came like that. But yeah, this controller is the only Xbox controller that can be overclocked, it can't be overclocked by that much. And if you're gonna be overclocking, that means you're on PC, and guess what? You can use PlayStation controller on PC. That can be overclocked all the way down to, at the very lowest I've seen, 0.9 milliseconds. That's crazy. I'll be dropping a video comparing, you know, the Scuf Instinct Pro, the Elite Series 2, all the Pro controllers I own. I'll be including a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 5 controller in there as well, just for good measure. And I'll also be dropping a tutorial soon on controller overclocking since many, many people have asked me. Uh, I'll just make it, it'll be like a two minute video like this. Super simple, I'll even show you guys how to test response times and shit. It's all super easy, uh, but it's all pretty unaccessible to us Xbox players. Well, I'm uh, both, I, I do both, but I main Xbox controllers because I like the offset. Now that I look at it, 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 it they kind of look retarded. I'm gonna bounce before I offend more people. Also, fuck you console players. Mm, going after my main audience. What the fuck was that? Please don't unsubscribe. We got a Victrix Gambit review on the way. I also have a bunch of comparison videos planned for that. Some things planned for the Elite Series 2. I might buy the new Scuf PS5 controller. You gotta understand, right? People think like I'm retarded. I agree with that. No, 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 I'm not. No, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's a stupid investment. I'll catch you guys when I'm making more other stupid investments. See you soon. Promise about the soon this time. Promise.